Alright, what's up guys? Fixing to head out for a little ride. Just hanging out in the town area. A ride that I do I call Old Faithful. And I don't have my wind guards or none of that on my camera. It's a bare bones camera. So I'm pretty much going to just do a, a little video here and there. I'm just going to mute it and then put music over it. And then I might stop and have a quick discussion or something. But it's going to be quick because I want to get home. And I want to have some lasagna. So, we'll see you guys on the road. Let's do this today. Well, there's the ride. I'm done. Kidding. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. If you can hear me, it's windy again today. Damn, I'm tired of wind. The one day it was perfect out, I didn't go ride. Most beautiful day in the world, and I didn't go ride. Because <clears throat> I was having a rough day that day. I think it was Tuesday. Wasn't a good day. to the Walmart Shopping Center. I'm not dead yet. Alright guys, I'm here at the park, just chilling. I'm not tired, and normally I wouldn't just stop whenever I'm in a hurry to get home, but I thought I'd stop and uh, start a little discussion. Um, today I made a post on Facebook to a group, it's a local group called Rants and Raves, and you can imagine what that's about. It can be anything from ranting and raving about the weather to your neighbor to a local restaurant or something or what have you um but i went on there i didn't really rant and rave so much but what i posted was uh i go through a, a neighborhood on one of my rides on a regular basis it's on one of my routes i take and uh, there's this big dog looks like some kind of german shepherd hybrid big longer haired shorter snout kind of dog and it's it's aggressive um 
they do have an invisible fence up, you know, with the shock collar and everything. Uh, and it's never jumped out at me. It normally just runs along the side of the road and barks for a minute and then nothing. But yesterday on my ride, um, it actually jumped out into the road to come after me. Uh, and instantly when it jumped out into the road, it started yelping and yelping and hollering. And I mean, it literally did like a 50-foot circle all the way around me and all the way back into its owner's yard. And then uh, finally stopped and then uh, was still along the edge of the road, uh, you know, its edge there, barking at me and stuff. So uh, I just, I posted on, on the rants and raves, uh, you know, has anyone else ever had that problem with that dog? Uh, because it is a little neighborhood and there are people there and people walk and bike ride and everything. And, uh, and I said, uh, you know, what it, I said, what had happened? And, uh, and I asked if anyone, you know, if maybe the owners of that dog are on that page. You know, everybody's on Facebook. Why not? Uh, and basically, the replies that I got were, um, shame on you. Uh, you're in the wrong. Uh, you should stay at home. That's not your neighborhood. Uh, the dog's not doing anything wrong. It's protecting its, uh, it's property, it's whatever, um, basically calling me out, uh, just, you know, to the extreme of how wrong and horrible I am for, for even posting such a thing, just a comment, a question to him, uh, and, uh, of course I got caught up in a, in a few replies, letting people know how stupid they are, uh, that if they think that an animal's life is more important than a decent human being's life, you know, we're not talking Hitler here, but uh, if they think that a, that a dog's life is more important than a human's life, they're effing idiots. They're, and I feel sorry for the world. Society has completely fallen, and that's why we are like we are today, because everyone has their ideals or their their morals and their values and beliefs and all that and just a complete crap wad um and that is pretty much exactly what happened on the post uh so i'm wondering uh what do you guys think um should you be allowed to ride in other neighborhoods Do you have to stick to your own neighborhood? Um, how do you do that? Like, how do we go anywhere and do anything if we can't get out of our neighborhood? Uh, and my reply also was, well, my tax dollars go to their neighborhood, to their roads. Um, if we didn't get to leave our roads, we'd never go anywhere. And I just thought, uh, I just, I mean, I, I don't like people anyway. I've given up on people. But, uh, that topic just really burned me, so. Anyway, I'm going to get on the road. There's a lot of people here. Okay, I'm back real quick. I'm just going to take off. But any, anyway, yeah, what's your thoughts and opinions on that? Are we not supposed to go anywhere else? Are we, are we supposed to just stay to ourselves? Uh, this, it seems like cyclists get the most attacked out of everyone uh, on the road. Uh, anywhere, we get attacked. So, what are your opinions? Please comment, share, uh, do whatever you can to get this message out there and, and see what other people think. So, I'm going to get on the road, get home.
Alright guys, I'm home, get in the house, get something to eat, I'm hungry, but don't forget to get up, get out, get red, and do it to it, even in the wind, windy wind. <laughs>